So lately you guys see me try out different styles of training, you know, some functional training, then I did calisthenics together with Stan Brownie. And when we did calisthenics, I figured out there's one movement that I really look up to and would love to master. Now I'm definitely gonna need some help in order to learn this movement. And I can think of one person that can surely help me out here. And so I have two questions for you, Stan. The first question, is this even possible to learn a one-arm pull-up in only 30 days? 30 days is a very short period of time, but I would say, yeah, for you, you have a lot of strength, but you're a big guy. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be a, not Mission Impossible, but close to Mission Impossible in 30 days. I like days. that, I like that. And question number two, can you help me accomplish this? I think I, think I can, I think yeah. I can, but it, again, like it's gonna be, it's gonna be a big challenge, but we will have to see. We will have to see in thirty days if you can actually do a one arm pull up. Oh man! Let's can you it. show me a one arm pull up? You like? Let's go. You obviously want to start like from the bottom, and then you want to go yeah. over the bar like that, God and that's damn. the cleanest way to do it. It makes it look so easy. Yeah, yeah. Slowly build up to a proper one arm pull up, and then we got right, obviously, which is like my what's your weak arm? Left. Left. Oh, mine is. Right. I'm even doing this. <laughs> <laughs> Why would that be? Left. 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 I have no idea. Though. I mean, I'm actually right-handed, so it makes no sense. <laughs> Let's go. So right. Uh, also, but like from the start, this part is the hardest part. Show, show us your one pull up right now. How you think it should be done? All right. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> Ooh. And should we try left arm? Yes. Oh, man. yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so. It's a like forearm and biceps. Like, left and I'm like, I'm swinging like, against this thing. That, that was already like the first thing we can sort of change. That is because okay. you're really grabbing it like shoulder width apart, but then with one arm. So if you want to uh, start properly, you want to actually grab it in the middle. So like on your, on okay. where your head is. I'm doing a 360 pull up. <laughs> well, there are like four basic ways of learning the one arm pull up, and the first one would be like just doing them, like you just did. You can jump up and then go down as slow as possible, so you really train that that one rep uh, like this. For example, help a little bit with the other arm, so I'm gonna do it with my left arm, and help a little bit with the right. Just whenever I feel like I need to, I help myself and do like three, four reps. Another way would be like that. And another way, last one would be with bands, also in the middle. And the closer you are to your hand, the more it looks like a real one arm pull up. You see, I can, I, I, at, the, at, the, nah. at the top, I'm putting a little bit more strength on the, uh, on the resistance band. Oh, fucking, fucking hell. <laughs> 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 and hey guys, I can do pull ups with at least like uh, 40 kgs hanging on my body. <laughs> and I weigh like 85 kgs, so that's over 100 kilos. Yeah. So this is freaking tough, the one arm pull up. Awesome, man, I can't wait. It's a short period of time. <laughs> it's a short period of time. So today is Monday, the 17th of May. This is day number one of the one arm pull up challenge. I'm gonna start with a warm up. It's clear that I'm a bodybuilder who never uses these. Ta-da. <laughs> My God, I don't think I moved a centimeter. But that was maybe one, one sixth of one fifth of the movement. Things take time. Day two today of the one arm pull up challenge. Let's do this. And uh, we have transformed the backyard here a little bit. Yes. Look at this. Yes, we did. <laughs> huh? Priceless. Give a thumbs up, okay? Yeah. Give a thumbs up for the both of us, <laughs> but especially for this for this man. Thank you. <laughs> Legend. <laughs> Crazy muscle pain from yesterday. I think I also just have to get used to, you know, this different movement. So I just have to push through this muscle pain right now the first couple of days. I didn't do any sets without the band because uh, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of like doubting if I should do that every single workout or not. So I think I need to ask Stan for some advice. Do like three to four sets with your variation and really challenging yourself low rep. That, that's the basis, and that's the basic basically. But for you, I understand that if you want to uh, like recover properly, and you 
you're not feeling like it, you could definitely take a day off. Today's a legendary day here in the Netherlands, guys. We're back in the gym, first freaking day. And my daily pull-ups continue, it's day three right now. I got some tips from Stan this morning, so uh, not this Stan, a different Stan. Oh, Mr. Brownie. <laughs> I sent you some tips as well, man. <laughs> These tips are never do bodyweight training. All right, so today I'm gonna try uh, the different variation, not with the band, just by helping a little bit with my other arm. Shit. That's heavy, man. That looked heavy. So you can make it as heavy for yourself as you can if you want. I'm gonna try it without first. Day three. Oh. Well, I can almost do the negative. The last one fourth of the rep. <laughs> Look at it positively. It's a start. Today is day number four. Let's get it. I feel like my grip is giving out a bit. Maybe because I've been doing this for days in a row. It's a little demotivating. This. That was too quick. That did not feel so good over here. I think I just need to accept the, like, the slower progression. But I only have 30 days. Drink your water, people. Now it's day five today and my arm really hurts from the session yesterday. It does not feel good in my forearm and my bicep. So today I'm taking a day rest and I have to fly to catch anyway to Egypt. So that's perfect timing. First task at this resort is to check out the gym that they have here, okay? It looks pretty decent in size. So I really hope they have a pull-up bar. Oh no. Cardio equipment, I mean, who would even do that? And then here we have a bench press and some random dumbbells. A multi-station. Nowhere to work out. I was thinking maybe I can do pull-ups up there, but that'll probably break. Okay, those are the lights. There's no bar. Shit, man. Could give this a try. But if I hang here, I come against the walls. That sucks. But hey, we'll, we'll find another way. I need to be resourceful now. Maybe like a tree or something. <laughs> Bowls grab my attention, but they're up way too high. Probably not a good idea. Here on the beach, as you can see, there's also unfortunately nothing that I can use. I feel like I'm chasing pools for a living now, okay? I don't know if you can see, but if I zoom in really far there, there is this beach rescue building. And way up there, I could possibly do a pull up. All the way up there on that white building, super freaking high, there's that white ladder. And it's just staring at me. I'm getting laser vision for spotting pull up bars right now. You see a tennis field here, but nowhere I can do the pull ups, man. Wait. I think we have a soccer field over there. This could possibly work. It is pretty thick, but I can definitely grab my hand around this. This goal moves, okay? <laughs> if there is no other option, I could do this. But for today, I'm gonna continue this properly, you guys. So I'm gonna search for a gym. If they don't have a pull-up bar here, I don't know what to do, man, but um, we keep the daily grind going. It's about to happen. I hope my arm feels good today um, because the last two days, it's still been a little bit of pain, but it feels uh, recovered now, so I'm ready to go again. We have the gym, okay? You possibly need to pull ups here, but it's not an optimal grip. And there we have the right bar. However, it is literally on top of the leg curl machine. Yesterday was the day of my speaking event, which is the reason why we're in Egypt in the first place. And it went really well, so that's awesome. I did not do my pull-ups yesterday, so today I really have to, okay? Because I don't have that many days left. I've took a couple of rest days. My left arm is not feeling too good, man, but there are no excuses. We gotta make this happen, right? So I did some celebrations last night, had loads of drinks, so I'm not feeling my best today, but there are no excuses. We're gonna make this happen, right?
right, I feel pretty good, I gotta say. I feel like I'm definitely helping less with my left arm now when I try the one-arm pull-up. Um, tomorrow, I'm surely gonna try it again, uh, you know, just with one arm, see how far I can get right now without any help. But man, this is, it's more difficult than I thought it would be. But I think there is some progression here. See, this one is gonna be a bit more difficult than a regular grip. Because it is a spin machine, so you slide a bit. We're gonna give it a go, once again. Okay. Up. That was further than, than yeah. a couple times ago, though. Try to do the one arm pull up uh, with the negative reps. I have so much pain right here and right there, like this. I'm not sure if they call it like a golfer's elbow, but pretty much in that area there where you see the vein. Um, and that was doing a negative rep with an assisted band. What do you think? I think my tendons may be too weak. Uh, maybe, you know, because muscles that I never trained, maybe my muscles are stronger than my tendons because, you know, I do bodybuilding. Oh, that sucks, man. Since you said that your, uh, your left arm was really hurt, um, I thought, all right, let's take it easy. Let's take it slow. But then uh, this happened to your other arm as well. And it might be because on the first day we went a little too hard and we already sort of damaged the muscles there. Like I said, you're a warrior, you're a fighter, so you're probably going for it to the next level and try to get the one-up pull up as fast as possible. But we should probably take a step back as well. So it's a week later right now to complete rest from the gym, but it's still not feeling better in my arm. I feel like I'm about to break up with my girlfriend over a phone. Hey man. Um, first of all, congrats with one and a half million subs. That's for you. <laughs> Thanks. Yeah. I, I have some bad news though. <laughs> yeah, I'm quitting, man. I'm giving up. Oh. Boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, you know about you know the little existing issue yeah, that I had. The injury. Normally, when you would train someone and you would say, uh, you know, with, with clients, that is what I notice. You say, train four days a week. Then they will probably go three times, and I I will go five or six instead of four. <laughs> so yeah. I did too much. Yeah. Exactly, and because we chose the short time frame, I was really like, uh, I mean, I want to to get you the best results as soon as possible. Yeah. And I mean, there is some sort of pressure because like thirty days. Uh, but I think I think we should uh, we should just do not give it a, a an end goal. One that is just getting you to a one arm pull up. Yeah, man. We should we do that. We can do it. It is possible. Yeah, I just feel like this was the lesson. Now was just uh, that slow I down. Call slow down, slow down a little bit. Not too hard, not too next level. I mean, I noticed it. I actually talked with Wairo today. He was here uh, for my protein shoot. And I was like, Marine's having a hard time, probably because he's going next level. He's going like, also first day, it was such a heavy day. Yeah. And you went 110% for it. I think you maybe already sort of injured it the first day a little bit. And it just got worse because of uh, the consistent, uh, you, you didn't give it any rest. And this just makes me feel so stupid in a way. Because I could have seen this coming, even on the first couple of days when I watch back the footage now. I was like, every time when I did the pull-ups, I was like this, like, ah, like it hurts. And it didn't hurt in a good way. So I could have already seen it coming. And as Stan said, perhaps I already snapped it on my first day because I went 110%. And that's sort of my mentality. And uh, we talked about that in different phone calls as well. Because you have a different, a little different mentality than just a regular uh, uh, first start at calisthenics. Because you know what it is to go through pain. You know what it is to, uh, <laughs> to actually go to the next level. Now, this is not a glorious story. I know that. And this is why I'm putting it on YouTube. All right. So I was thinking, what should I do with this video? This whole video failed. It, like, I'm a failure. I lost. And most people would now not post a video and then keep doing the pull-up until they would do it right. And then post it. That's what we see on YouTube. That's what we see on social media all the time. People doing all this perfect stuff. Everything going well. You know, and um, sometimes things just don't work out well. Sometimes things don't go well. Even in my life, you see me accomplish all this stuff. But sometimes I set a goal and it doesn't work out. Sometimes you, you take an approach and it's unrealistic. It's not a realistic goal. Um, in this case, I could have, like, I know my body. Stan doesn't know my body as well as I do. So I could have felt that this was not the right thing to do. And I just kept pushing and kept pushing. And you guys can imagine how I feel because I've trained loads of people. And I, when training myself, that's when I do things different. And when I push myself too much, 
which I wouldn't do for my clients, right? But this is always the case, guys. You always treat yourself different than you treat other people. So like when you help other people, you always help them as best as you can. You give great advice, but then when it comes to yourself, you never like follow up the advice. At least that's how it goes in my world. So um, I hope some of you can relate to this. I hope you guys appreciate me sharing this. Um, obviously this is not very cool. And so this was a big mistake, guys. When it comes to training, don't be stupid. Don't compare your chapter one to someone else's chapter 10 because that's exactly what I did, right? I wanted to get there too fast, even though I did not have experience with you know the calisthenics movements. So yeah, let that be a lesson, guys, so that you don't have to snap your shit up like I did. Good things take time, and you gotta take that time and not rush the process. I will still attempt to do this one-arm pull-up one day, and I'd love to do a challenge here with you guys, and you will be able to win 100 euros. If you can guess in how many days exactly I will learn the one-arm pull-up. Will that be 74 days, 83 days, 100 days? How many days exactly? Comment it down below, include your email or your Instagram handle, and I will pick the winner once I perform the one-arm pull-up. Because I failed for now, but that doesn't mean I am giving up. It doesn't mean I'm quitting. So, you know, does it really count as failure? We don't know yet. We'll find out in the future. Stan is going to help me, and we're going to continue this journey. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. Yo, guys, summer is around the corner, and therefore we're hosting another Summer 21 Transformation Challenge. This time, there's prizes to win up to 3,000 euros in cash. So you don't want to miss it. Applications start on July 1st, and there are limited spots available. So go to myshreddedlifestyle.com on July 1st, and do not miss this.